Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to give you the secret of a lifetime. So, if you're sick and tired of having to spend countless minutes or hours in the bathroom getting ready for your next dick appointment or your next scene or whatever you have going on down there, stay right here because I'm going to show you how I do it to don't have to do shit. Do shit, yeah, do shit, do shit. Ooh, say it fast, say it. Do shit, do shit, do shit, do shit, do shit. Do shit those bottoms who won't literally let you get this close to their butthole because they didn't have time enough to douche or they just have dinner after they already douche and they don't want to go through that again and they absolutely don't want to get you dirty that commitment it is uh, commendable and it's very appreciated but let's be honest wouldn't you rather like don't have to really worry about that mm? personal confession i never douche ever Part of it is because I am very lazy and I don't really want to spend time of my day or my night or whenever doing it. But also because I have got to a level with my digestive system and the whole routines and stuff that I do that I don't really need to douche. Because I know exactly when I'm going to have to go to the bathroom, when I'm going to have to take a fat massive and clean everything inside my body. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you exactly what I do in order to keep my digestive system in check. And if it works for you, you know what that means. Bye bye douche. Diet! I'm going to give you a little tour so that you can take a look at what I eat regularly. And I just want to clarify, when I say diet, I'm not talking about like a very specific heavy diet for like a loose weight or anything like that. It's just the type of stuff that I eat. As you can see, it's a lot of protein bars, protein candy, some regular fruit, bananas. Uh, if, you, if you can see, I like snacking. Like I like this type of snacks. Normally I do salty snacks. I don't do a lot of candy. I don't like like sweet uh, snacking. This is... The only cereal that I eat, this keto cereal that is like zero sugar. Are you kidding me? You know how difficult it is to buy, to find a zero sugar cereal? And it's like really nice. And it's like, uh, it tastes really good. A lot of diet stuff. Like like I'm saying, like my di my diet pretty much consists in like not eat a lot of fr fried food and sugary food. Like all the stuff that I drink most of the time is sugar free. Orange juice is not really sugar free, but you know, zero added sugar. If you cannot look, if you cannot accept with like completely sugar free, try to do zero added sugar. It's like a, like a very good possibility. So basically high in fiber, high in protein, low on sugar, low on fat. And you basically want to stay hydrated. Like you want to drink a lot of water. And that actually takes us to point number two. Water. This might be a little difficult for you, especially in the society that we live right now where we don't know how to drink something without ice, but you might want to take the ice out of your diet. You know, when you're about to go inside the shower and you are expecting a little hot water to go out and extremely cold water hits you out of nowhere and you're like, <gasps> exactly the same with your stomach. Especially if you ate some kind of fatty food, you put the, the, the cold water over it in your stomach and the, the, the fat gets solid there. It's like a whole mess. This is what I do about it, especially for breakfast. Maybe I'll have a glass of orange juice or like cranberry juice, but at the end of my breakfast, once I'm done with everything, I'm going to have either a hot tea or hot coffee. Especially if I have hot coffee, I know I'm gonna be in the bathroom in like the next 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what I ate. For the rest of the day, I'm going to have room temperature water or even more hot tea. Let's say if I'm going to go out at night and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be clean and ready, right after dinner, hot tea goes in, and I know that in a little bit, I'm just going to be ready to go giving everything away in the bathroom. So yeah, think about that. Something very important about when you drink tea and coffee and all that, they are great, they are amazing, but make sure you go brush your teeth every time you drink them because they'll stain your teeth. Like if you are not careful about it, they will stain your teeth and we don't want that. We just want to be able to don't have to douche anymore. Exercise. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it without exercising. If you don't like to exercise, that's your business. But in my personal experience, 
most likely I'm able to do this because I spend every day one hour to two hours to sometimes three hours in the gym depending on how high I am. I am absolutely not saying that you have to spend the same amount of time or maybe train the same way that I do. Just make sure you exercise your body because when you exercise, your metabolism start working, your blood starts circulating, like exercising is good in general. So try to do something for your life other than just one of my star products. one fiber sugar-free orange flavor what else can you ask for so this is how i do it i take a glass of water like about this big and i don't have any glass of water this big right now so that's why i have this jar i fill it all the way up and i pull like two scoops of that thing and i drink it all the way down that's for like lunch right after lunch glug, 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 glug. perfect and i do it once again but that's for like after like my last meal, after that I know that I'm not going to eat anymore, I'm just gonna go to bed. Full glass of water, two spoons of that thing. Look, 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 look. And the first thing that I do next day when I wake up, I, I literally have to run to the bathroom and, and give birth. And I know you might think, that's it? That's everything it takes so I don't have to douche anymore? Well, you know, the power is in the little details. I am sure you're not doing most of the stuff that I told you in this video to do or you are doing the other way around. And I bet you drink a lot of cold water. So just take these little few changes, adjust it to your daily life and let me know how it goes for you. Let me know if you don't have to douche as much or as, as intense simply anymore well guys that's gonna be everything for today i'm glad that you watched this video if you watch it to the end please make sure to subscribe make sure you give me a thumbs up if you think this is useful information and let me know how it goes for you let me know if you want anything on the topic that you want me to talk about and uh, let's see what we can do about that thank you so much see you another time in another video for another week and i'm going to go to the bathroom because i just had breakfast like an hour ago and i had coffee so i am ready to Bye-bye! <laughs>